This is Ben with the Manor House Bus Team. I'm in Talent, Oregon, looking at the destruction caused by a big fire several weeks ago. This is an example of one of hundreds of homes destroyed by the fires. There are times when our lives feel like a fire has come in and destroyed everything. I've heard that fire has an appetite and it won't stop eating until it is satisfied. I learned from many here that there was no warning. The fire was unstoppable. But look closely and see what's left. It's the foundation. I'm reminded of the chief cornerstone. You know who that is? It's Jesus. He is called the part of the building that is strongest and lasts the longest. The cornerstone is also the first part of the building. This is the Henry Building in downtown Portland. It's over 100 years old. It was renovated for use to house people in recovery. I just completed my part installing all the soap and paper dispensers. All these big downtown buildings have a cornerstone, meaning the building started with just one stone and all the other stones were measured from it. I know what a cornerstone is. It's small, it's cute, it's portable. It can fit in my pocket. That's not what a cornerstone is. Cornerstones are supposed to be big, stable. It's a firm foundation. Mine can swing from my rearview mirror. But I got wheels, and it and it gives me confidence, and it makes me feel like the bee's knees. This is the cornerstone. I'm gonna take the cornerstone, and I'm gonna put the cornerstone right <laughs> in the corner. We are like little stones fitted into the cornerstone. So you take the little stones and you put them next to, where are you going to put them? Put them next to, put them right there. Put them next to, huh? Yay! So where did, the, where did the little stones go? Hello, this is Ben, the food box delivery guy and the Manor House bus team member. Hey, I just want to finish this video with a quick verse from Isaiah 28, 16. I've modified it a little bit to make it personal. It says, look, I'm placing a foundation stone in Portland. It is a firm, attested, and precious cornerstone that is safe to build on. Whoever believes need never run away again. Each day we choose to build on a million different things. How we live, who we love, and what we do. But the fundamental truth we should build our lives above is the truth that Jesus Christ is God. It's a little shaken up and we feel like it's burning to the ground. We can rest knowing there'll be something left to build upon. Cause we know that he's steadfast through it all. When we need to rebuild a broken wall, we can rest knowing even when we're weak, our God is strong. So when It's a little shaken up and we feel like it's burning to the ground. We can rest knowing there'll be something left to build upon. Cause we know that he's steadfast through it all. When we need to rebuild a broken wall, we can rest knowing even when we're weak. Our God is strong. Our God is strong. And that's the video for this week guys I think probably for many of us it's just a season of um, like shifting things around reprioritizing just testing your heart I guess and sometimes that can be scary and sometimes that means that you're gonna lose some things sometimes that means that a lot of things that you put your trust in are no longer there but when you have Jesus as your cornerstone, then you can always rebuild. <laughs> it's super weird. I haven't seen you guys for months, but I hope I hope you're doing good. Hope you guys have a great week. And yeah, we'll see you next week.